Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another nail video. Make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos. So here I'm showing you everything you need. You need some primer, some nail tips, some glue, scissors, some um, nail cutters and nail clippers, some file, acetone, and some cotton balls. So make sure you stay tuned for Friday's video because I'm actually going to show you a nail design that I did right after this. So here I am making sure I'm removing any product or residue that I have on my nails using the cotton ball and the acetone. And I do this, you know, to make sure um, I don't have nothing stuck on my nails when I apply my acrylic. Here I'm taking my nail clippers and I'm cutting my nails down because I don't like having like longer nails underneath my acrylic. And this is the nail, the e-file that I will be using is the one that they gave me at school and this cuticle um, bit. I can't even talk. This is a cuticle bit and I will link it down below from the website that I got it from. And I will be using my e-file with my cuticle to remove any uh, growth that has come down on the nail plate. And the reason you do this is to prevent lifting. You don't want lifting on your nails. And prepping is the number one reason why a lot of um, folks, and you know, their nails fall off or something happens to the nail because they don't prep your natural nail correctly. You want to make sure there's no um, cuticles or any kind of dead skin on your nail plate because it will definitely lift, make your nails lift. Here I'm taking the glue and I'm basically the glue and the tips and I'm basically measuring my nail to make sure it fits from side to side. You want to make sure you're not pushing, uh, pushing down hard on the nail. You want it to be a nice easy fit. And I will be doing this for all five fingers. You guys, you know how hard it was to film this video. It was so hard trying to make sure that I'm doing everything right. And keep an eye out on the camera to make sure I'm still recording and getting all the right angles. Ugh, it was so hard. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. And give me a thumbs up if you really are enjoying my nail videos. Because I will be making more like i said stay tuned for friday so you can see the nail design that i decided to do with the acrylic and some glitter so stay tuned for that here i'm taking my uh nail cutter and i'm gonna slide my nails in there and i'm just gonna cut it make sure the blade is facing you so you don't like you know hit the kind with the nail that's like flying away and every time I cut it, I make sure that I measure with the other finger to make sure I got the right length. I'd rather cut a little bit longer than too short and have to start all over again. And as you can tell here, I'm using my scissors to get a coffin shape. That is my favorite shape. It's a nice coffin. So basically what I do is cut the tips, like the side of the, um, the tips off to get that shape, that coffin shape that I'm looking for. Also, I'm a lefty and I'm doing everything with my right hand right now because I decided to film this last minute. It was so hard, guys. Like, so hard to do everything with your non-dominant hand, but somehow I made it work. So here I'm taking my file and I'm finishing off that shape. I'm going to uh, file the side of my nails at an angle to get that nice narrow effect and then I will be doing the free edge and make sure you hold your file nice and straight just like that to get that nice square at the top. And here I'm just blending the nail tip with my natural nail to make sure it's a smooth transition. You really don't want to see any line of demarcation. And that's how I prep my nails for acrylic. So let me know how you like this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Stay tuned for Friday and I will see you then. Bye.
Thank you.